Good morning, this is Pastor Marvin Osborne with First Baptist Church of Birmingham, Ohio, and I hope you're well today. Today I want to maybe start a series on, in our devotionals, on maybe some major topics, things that I've been asked through the years, and maybe I, maybe it's a question that you have as well, and and so these are things that may be personal or maybe you've just wondered about. Even this one today is is one that's come up from time to time. It comes up seasonally, usually around Easter, and that is the sh- the shroud of Turin. Is it authentic? What is the uh, is is it really real? Is it the the shroud that Jesus was wrapped up in? And we're looking at Ma- uh, Mark chapter fifteen, verse forty six, and it says, "And he brought fine linen." And he took him down and wrapped him in linen and laid him in a sepulcher, which he which was hewn out of a rock and rolled a stone unto the door of the sepulcher. And so this is the the shroud supposedly that Jesus was um, was wrapped in. And so there are two basically two basic thoughts concerning the shroud. Number one. Uh, some believe it is just a fabrication. You know, it was it was a work of art. It was uh, done maybe by Michelangelo or Leonardo da Vinci or someone like that. And so some would believe it is just a work of art. It was never meant to be um, uh, seen as the authentic uh, uh, shroud of Jesus. And some believe that it's the actual burial cloth of Christ. And so you have two schools of thoughts. One is a, it's a work of art, and others is a uh, that it is a uh, it is the actual piece. Um, uh, the, certainly, the shroud, if you've done any reading on it, uh, certainly appears to be a man who had been crucified. Uh, the, there are markings in the hands that are consistent with the uh, biblical account of the crucifixion. In addition, there are wounds consistent with torture. And uh, that uh, Christ uh, um, incurred uh, on his head and his back and his legs and so forth. So certainly it is a it is a uh, it has indications that it was uh, that it that it could have been Christ. And in truth, most theological uh, theologians uh, in our camp would are split on that whether it's true or false. And let me just say this. We have a tendency as, as humans, even I think it, if, if we're not careful as Christians, to worship objects we think that are connected to the crucifixion. Um, you know, if, if we really did have the cross of Christ, people would be worshiping it. They would bow down to, uh, to that cross. They would want to get pieces of that cross and take it home with them, right? As a matter of fact, I'm told that if you go to Israel, they'll, they'll sell authentic, and I'll put in quotation marks, pieces of the cross. Um, and people will take it home, and I, I'm sure they know it's, it's just a tourist thing, uh, but, uh, who knows? You know, it's that idea that we have a tendency to worship things. We see that in the Old Testament, where they worship calves, they worship uh, mantles, they worship different things that they thought were connected to the spiritual. So, in truth, I personally, I personally do not think that Christ or God would would give us the Father would give us. Um, something that would cause us to fall into idolatry. And so whether even if it is real or not, in truth, it has it plays no bearing on my faith whatsoever. It does not authenticate the resurrection uh, of Jesus Christ. It does not authenticate uh, his, his, uh, his crucifixion because I have the word of God. And um, faith, uh, you know, uh, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. I think we would be, um, uh, we would be wrong in trying to authenticate that shroud uh, in order to authenticate our faith. And that's not the way we're supposed to be. Uh, we do know the word of God is very clear. that, And we don't need any outward um, 
evidence to prove that Jesus Christ was crucified and he died for our sins, that he was placed in that tomb, and, uh, and that he resurrected from the grave. And so is it, how important is the, the fact that the Shroud of Turin is real? Uh, it's not important at all. It's not important at all. It's certainly fodder for uh, speculation, for debate. It, uh, it, uh, is, it is interesting, uh, but it's of, of no consequence whatsoever. And so I don't want you to be concerned. I don't want you to be worried. I don't want you to be overly um, uh, enamored by that shroud because it really plays no effect in our, in our faith whatsoever. We believe what the Word of God says, and that's enough. And that's enough. And uh, if other people want to waste their time trying to authenticate it this, this way or that, that's up to them. But you and I have the Word of God. Amen? Amen. This is Pastor Marvin Osborne saying God loves you, and I love you as well. And I'll talk to you soon.